Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the new 2022 Tundra Hybrid in the Platinum Crew Max with the short bed. So this is a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo engine. They are going to be averaging 11.7 liters per 100 kilometers combined. They have 437 horsepower. They have a payload of 1,565 pounds and they tow 11,012 pounds. So I am going to go over the interior and exterior of this very cool truck and I'm going to answer any questions you guys have. If you're interested in Toyota videos, please feel free to like and subscribe as I have weekly Toyota video uploads and lots of new 2023s coming in. So let's go ahead and get started on this model. Here we go. All right, so starting with the exterior here, this is the magnetic gray metallic. Taking a look along the front, you do have LED triple beam headlamps, LED fog lamps, a nice dark chrome grille. You have active front spoiler and grille shutters. The spoiler is underneath there and it drops to help get better fuel economy. You have front parking sensors as well as the bird's eye view 360 camera. These are also auto leveling headlamps. 20 inch alloy wheels, 11 inch ground clearance got mud guards on the front and back, the platinum with the body side moldings along the side, smart key system with the proximity sensor. These are auto, uh, they're not only foldable but extendable and memory mirrors with the blind spot monitors. Along the back here you have the mud guards and again your nice 20 inch alloy wheels, parking sensors again in the back, heavy duty tow hitch receiver, and not only can you let the bed down with the button there, but you also have this little handy button on the side that just softly drops it. You also have sequential tail lamps, which is super cool. Nice resin bed as well as the rubber cargo liner. And you've got your power outlet too. Tie down cleats as well. Not too heavy. And a 122 liter tank. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, so I'm gonna start in the back seats here. You have this nice leather interior with the blue stitching, one of the few packages that have the real leather. Nice rubber mat that has a nice lip to it that goes over the center piece and says Tundra on it. You have heated and ventilated rear seats as well as front seats, which is super cool, very luxurious. Down below you have the 400 watt output and a couple of fast chargers there. You've got your cup holders in the center, even have those privacy covers. As you can see, that one is up. This guy here. Nice for if you want to keep anything cool in the back seats, kids, animals, anything like that. Um, these back seats as well do lift. Underneath you have your hybrid system. So it does take up that room where in the gas models you would have extra storage, but still handy nonetheless. This whole back window does um, drop down as well. So I will show you that. Let's take a look in the front. Power adjustable seat there with lumbar support and the lower leg support. Again, the super nice leather interior that's all perforated for that heated and ventilated seats. Blue stitching, very sharp looking. Gonna hop on in. Even soft text blue stitching along the top. Soft text all along. Your power windows, mirrors, and locks also foldable. And over here we have your heated steering wheel, your automatic high beams. I'm gonna turn this guy on so you can see. You have 
extendable mirrors. So if you're towing something, that's very handy. And they're also foldable. You've even got the little light there. You can see that going on, marker lights and the rear cross traffic alert and brake. And over here, this is where you're gonna have your wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this gigantic 14 inch screen. And below here, you're going to have your climate control dual zone so you can both be at your own comfort levels. Heated and ventilated seats. I'm gonna turn that off, it's a bit chilly today. Uh, USB port, but also a stand-up wireless charger, which is nice to have your phone sitting upright. Traction control, bird's eye views 360 camera. You can see I left the mats on the ground, the carpet mats and the uh, hitch receiver there, but just really cool to have that 360 walk around view. Automatic park brake, park brake hold, uh, the trailer brake controls as well for your game. Triptonic, so you can change gears manually, your drive, uh, four wheel drive modes, as well as these drive modes and tow haul. In here we have your cup holders, nice leather wrapped shift knob. Over here, we've got a nice little storage unit up top and these guys do lift. You've got a button on either side for convenience for both passenger and driver. USB ports, uh, coin holders, lots of fancy stuff. That closes too, just nice easy access. Lockable glove, again, really nice soft text. There's just ambient lighting around here too. Hard to see in the light. Rain sensing wipers, everything that you need on this. Even your uh, steering wheel is electrically controlled and has memory mirrors that go along with those memory seats and memory, sorry, wheel and mirrors. <laughs> so those guys, this guy, this guy. In between here, we've got so many different things that you can have up on that screen, depending on what you want to see. Right now, it's just your uh, fuel economy, but you can have, so this is gonna be wrong because it's just brand new, um, but you can have your compass or your music or your uh, trailer selection, all of your safety settings you can turn on or off, pre-collision system, blind spot monitors, uh, parking sensors, etc. Up top, you have a heads up display, which is super cool. So if you want, you can have uh, it just projected in the glass. And JBL audio, so the premium audio in this one too, obviously, because it is a top notch. And look at that big panoramic moonroof. I just opened it up as well. Still going. That is an enormous panoramic moonroof, which is super cool. You can have that tilted um, as well as you have your back window that slides down too. So very cool. Lots of light in here. Little glasses holder. Your lights digital rear view mirror so right now it's bypassing everything in the back seats versus if you want to check on anyone but this is super handy you can even use these buttons to zoom in or zoom out or go back and forth up or down anything like that and garage door openers on there as well so as you can see they did a very nice job with the interior And also we'll have all of the safety senses, like uh, safety senses and remote connect, safety connect, service connect. Um, now those are for three years and the service connect is for five years. And those are some of the key features on this very loaded Tundra. All right, so what did you guys think of this new Tundra? I would love to hear any of your questions or comments on this truck in the comment section below. And if you're interested in Toyota videos, please feel free to like and subscribe and share and follow along as I will have weekly uploads. 
Until next time, I will see you then.